pretty sure you need to tell them not to do this at home. Oh yeah, don't do this at home. Today we're going to be answering the age-old question of what happens if one of these struts actually comes all the way apart. And the way that we're going to do that is pretty much just slowly taking the nut off until the thing explodes. So that's what we're going to do right now. We're going to answer the question, is everybody afraid of these things? Are they right that you should be afraid of this? Are we going to shoot this thing like miles? I don't know. Because everybody's pretty scared of these. So let's just freaking get this over with. Let's just, let's pretty much just get this done at this point because, you know, the anticipation's killing me. You now, this is like looking down the barrel of a gun. Allegedly. We're going to find out if that's true. So, let's just, let's just get to it. All right, so we got it all set up here. I wanted kind of a longer pull for some distance between me and this. So, I got gloves, safety glasses, and that's the appropriate PPE for this procedure. Let's just start up. It's going to be a while, I think. It's like real loose. How come there's not like a lot of tension? I feel like I'm way too close to the front. Good job. Now you got to get your hand in there to put it back in. This is a horrible idea. <laughs> Why did we decide to do this? Oh, frick. Is it close? It's like half a bowl. Oh, nice. We're almost there, folks. Oh, this is like when the dynamite doesn't go off and you press the igniter. Oh, frick. It's like, what do you do? It wasn't gonna be that bad. <laughs> it didn't even launch anything. Well, that's completely lame, dude. It shot the nut like two, literally two feet. At least it was all in frame. I'll bet the nut would have gone a lot further if the ratchet hadn't been in its way. Wait, you, your bet was that it was gonna be just lame. Yeah. Well, the heck, you didn't want to do. Let's blow the other one apart and then make pogo boots. I think people need to stop being wusses. Cause now we know. This was the perfect scenario. The ratchet was super loose on the end. It yeah. Bolted down parallel yeah. with the ground. Yeah, this was for plywood, so it wasn't in the grass. This was for maximum launch, and we got two feet. So I guess people just need to not quit being scared of struts. Well, that pretty much sums everything up right there. Nothing. Everybody's scared of nothing. It's off a 98 Camry, but still, it's like, everybody's being a wuss for nothing. It's like, not that big of a deal. Oh, well, now I don't feel the need to buy loaded struts, actually. I'll just change the spring. Put it on the new shock, call it a day. Because that was underwhelming, not that big of a deal. Let's quit being scared. Let's quit being wusses. People need to quit being scared. Quit being wusses. You know, don't go, oh, don't stand in front of the strut. You don't, it's gonna kill you, all the stuff. Nope. It might bruise you. It if won't. It hit you in the face, that would suck. Okay, but only a moron would put their face right in front of it. Like, if you got hit in the face by a friggin' penny that was thrown at you, it would suck. Like, this might break your tooth out if you're like. You yeah, if you were extremely it. unfortunate and unlucky, but if you have luck that bad, this is like the least of your worries. It's got to depend on cars because I've seen videos of them going pretty far. Yeah, well, if you're doing 98 Camry, this is not advice. It's not legal advice. I'm not telling you that you're not going to get hurt. But if you're doing sure a 98 you Camry, say, this is not going to hurt you. Pretty sure you need to tell them not to do this at home. Oh, yeah. Don't do this at home. All right. Subscribe. Hit the like button. See you on the next video. Out. All right. I lied. The video's not over. Um, now that we realize that you can take it apart safely without a spring compressor or anything, now we're going to see if we can put it back together without a spring compressor. You said it's not possible. I said it was. 
I didn't think it was possible until I tried and then it's like, okay, we're real close. So let's see if we can get this thing back together. No spring compressor. So can you do a strut job on your car? I weigh 175. He weighs 175. He's gonna do the compressing. Can you do a strut job on your car without having to get a spring compressor or by loaded struts? Can you do it all by hand practically? So here we go. Line up the spring with that groove. Yeah, make sure that your spring is sitting in the spring pocket correctly. All right, you ready? Yeah, you think the impact or just go for it? Oh, dude, give me, just sit right there, bud. Hello. Perfect. So we have proven here today that at least on a 1998 Camry, you can change your shocks without having to buy a loaded strut or get a spring compressor. Honestly, I think that's like, that's like the way to do it though. Like you don't have to deal with a spring compressor and spring compressors are what stress people out anyway. Yeah, because then if the thing slips off then it blows up. Yeah, so it's like, just don't be a wuss from the get go and then you won't get yourself into real issues. So don't try this at home. Don't try this at home. Do not do this. This is for professionals only. We're on a closed course. Professional drivers on a closed course here. So yeah, that's the way to do this, but don't do it. And if you do, because you didn't hear it from me. I mean, I'm sure a heavy duty strut or something like heavy wouldn't be like that easy. That was fun, over and out, this time, for real, like the video, hit the subscribe for more content. Not necessarily like this, this is kind of a one-off. It's kind of us just being an idiot. But. Isn't that every one of your videos? No, no. <laughs> this is us being idiots, more but, than usual. but it started as us being idiots, but now this is some real consumer advice. And you don't like, need the spring that, compressor. That whole other video you did of changing the shocks could have just been. Exactly. The whole other video of me doing the loaded struts could have just done the could have just done the shock. Kept the old springs. The more you know. Alright, over and out for real now. Hit the like button, subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next project.